Orula Shango Confidence Power Boost Spell, Uplifting Breaking Bath. Welcome, Welcome back, back everyone. everyone. It's Lorenzo once again, bringing you another video. Um, it's First of all, it's Orula's day today. It's October 4th. You might get this video a little late after the fact, but does it not like to make the day less important? So today is Orula's day. His colors are green and yellow. So a little representation there. Um, so light a candle, you know, say a little prayer. And ask for some blessings. So with that being said, I, I was thinking a lot today about what I should do. And it's funny, I'm so into music, as you know, from all the ending of my videos. Um, I heard a song on the way to work today and it just like clicked. Okay. So we'll play that video at the end. Of course, you got to wait for it. But I wanted to do an uplifting confidence booster spell. Um, so with that being said, let's jump right in. Okay. So we're going to imagine this basin is a bathtub. So you're going to draw a cool bath of water. And with this cool bath of water, not too cold, not too warm. You want to be comfortable, but you don't want to, you know, ruin you know, with the too, too warm, okay? So you want to make a nice cool tub. And then with that, we want to throw some mint leaves. So we're going to throw some mint leaves are great. Once you smell it, it's fresh. It uplifts your spirit. I'm feeling so uplifted. So this is spell. My mom actually taught me this spell. Hi, mom. A long time ago. And this is to uplift. I'm feeling much happier. Thanks, Lorenzo us let me just get all this out right and as you're doing this you're pulling out the leaves you're thinking about what obstacles you have you're thinking about your feelings how are you're you feeling about, today um what's holding you back right now you know it doesn't always have to be you know we talked a lot about enemies um and outside forces sometimes it's ourselves be nice okay. to yourself. So we're thinking about these things. We're thinking about how we're feeling. And as we do this, once I get all this off, again, our thoughts are to be, are setting our attentions and asking for what it is that we're doing. Dream big, have no big goals. So now we have our mint leaves in our tub of water. So like we did in past video, we're going to take these herbs and we're going to open them up. And again, my favorite way to describe this is old school washing the clothes. So as you're doing this, you're opening up the leaves and you're still praying and you're still asking and you're still setting your intentions. That way we're energizing our bath. Spiritual energy. So do that for a couple minutes. Again, this is just a mini version. You know, I would put a little bit more leaves in the tub. And then we're also going to use bluing. Bluing is very good to pick up the negativity. Almost like camphor, but just a different version. Okay, so we're going to just break a little piece. I didn't notice I have a majority of the blue in here. So just a little piece of the blue because we don't want to overdo it. And then we're going to take this bluing and we're going to swish it around the tub, making it nice and blue. Sometimes people, they'll like pre-make their blue. They'll put it like in a bottle of water and kind of let it sit. So, but again, we're talking about our bathtub and we don't want to make our bathtub blue or have, I don't want to get um, comments saying, you know, we turned it blue, so we don't got to go too crazy. The element is in our bathtub. It's there. See, it's on my fingers. You know, so we want to make it, you know, um, practical for cleaning our tub after. Okay. So it's going to have a nice little blue hue. Okay. Once you get it done and you get it ready. Okay. Now is your time. What I would do is I would lay first lay a towel on the outside of your tub, have that ready to go. And then we're going to go into the tub and we're going to sit and we're going to soak. 
okay? You could be in there for as long as you want to be in there. You want to be in there two minutes? Fine. You want to be in there five minutes, ten minutes? Now's your time to pray. Now's your time to meditate. Now's your time to ask. You know, completing the process of what we're doing. So once you're sitting in the tub and you're relaxing, and now you're ready to come out, the last thing you're gonna do, cause you know how do we sit in the tub? We sit in the tub like this. So now we're gonna submerge ourselves into the tub. As we do that, we're gonna leave our face out of the water. It's almost like we're floating in, in a pool, right? So s slide down, leave your face above the water, putting your head, right? Sometimes we gotta clean our head and cool our head. So putting our head into the water, okay? Leaving our face above. And now, when we're ready to come up, now we kind of lift ourselves up. And as we lift ourselves up, we're lifting our spirit up. We're leaving all the crap behind, okay? Just, it's the motion of, I'm trying to think of, don't jump up and like, you know, I don't want nobody to fall. So, but energetically, spiritually, we're lifting ourselves up. So we're gonna stand up in the tub, okay? Clean ourselves off, and then we're gonna step out leaving all everything behind in the tub. Okay, so it's very simple, but it's very strong spiritually when you are doing this action. And again, we're, we're coming out of this and, and we're picking ourselves up, okay? And then we're stepping out, leaving everything behind. So that's gonna be part one to this. I'm just gonna put this on the side. When, once you're done with that, you can Drain the tub, clean it, don't worry, just throw everything in the garbage. Um, we don't want to make it too messy, okay? So that's day one. So that's going to be our first uplifting uh, breaking bath, okay? Then afterwards, Chango, Orisha of Thunder and Lightning. So I want to use Chango. Chango is the Orisha, he was born out of the volcano. His element is fire. He was a warrior. He never lost the battle. So I want to channel some of that Chango energy, being that now we had a little, um, little down moment, okay? In our feelings, in life, you know, life can kind of beat us up every once in a while. So we're doing this uplifting back to lift our spirit, okay? And now we're gonna close it off with Chango to give us some fire, give us some energy Chango. for this spell. So we're doing, uh, we're gonna use Alamo, which is his favorite in Osine plants, is Alamo. So we're gonna boil some Alamo. So my rule of thumb normally is gallon of water. So put a gallon of water in a pot. We're gonna put our Alamo herb in there. We're also gonna use allspice, okay? Allspice is very good in beating out the chances in competition. So being that we're doing this as a confidence booster, we want to kind of give us that energy. You know, also the smell of allspice is, is strong, okay? But it's a good strong. It's like, so think of uh, an air freshener when you have it at home. When you walk into a room and you smell that, it's like, smells good. Smells so Same thing good. With allspice. Allspice is going to give us that aroma. It's going to open up our brain to these, you know, continuing this uplifting feeling. So we're going to have some allspice in there, open up our brain centers, um, feel that energy, smell that energy, you know, take it all in, okay? So we're going to be boiling our, our alamo, boiling our allspice. Once that's done, boy, oh wait, actually, I forgot one thing. Uh, hibiscus. Hibiscus is very good to alleviate our worry. And again, another thing to lift our, our spirits and, and, and pick up our energy, okay? It's also good for love, okay? Which could be a whole nother separate video, but if you guys are feeling a little lack of confidence in the love department, you can incorporate that in your prayers and your intentions as you're doing it because it is also good for love. Okay, so we're gonna be boiling all three of these elements together. Once it's done boiling, turn off the fire, let it cool down, okay? While the water is nice and, and hot slash warm, we're gonna add molasses. Molasses is another good um, offering, which we used it in past videos for Yemeya. Um, it's good for the Orishas. Um, in this particular case, we are using Chango, but the spiritual aspect of molasses 
is to give us strength to prepare us for some hard work. So all this together is like a, a confidence boosting, strength building uh, spell. So we're gonna put a little bit of that molasses in there while the water's nice and hot and warm so it can mix in well. You don't gotta put too much, just a little bit. Uh, picture like, you know, tea and uh, honey into tea. So just a little bit in there, swish it around. Okay, let it melt, let it, let it get into the, into the bath. Once that's all done, you're gonna strain it, throw out all the herbs, keep the water, okay? So this is our little representation of that. So we have our herbal mixture, and then we're gonna add in some more elements. We're gonna add in uh, Victorious, okay? Again, another strength building ingredient, Chango oil. Okay, we're gonna use some Chango oil in our bath as well. So we got Victoria's Cologne, Chango oil, and, and all these other Chango elements in our bath to finish it off. And then this bath, my rule of thumb is three days. I love doing odd numbers, so one day I think is a little bit too little. Three days is a happy medium. If you wanna do five days, go knock yourself out. But we wanna finish this bath in a couple days, give yourself a couple multiple days of asking for some blessings. Okay, and then last but not least, uh, Chango, if you wanna give them some offerings, give them an apple, Chango's number six. So if you wanna get six apples, put it on a plate, put it in front of his candle, thank him for all his help, okay? When the candle's done, when your bath is done, before the, before the apples spoil, you wanna take the six apples and you wanna bring it to a big tree. Go to the park, find the biggest tree you can find because uh, one of Chango's element, his main element is wood. So we're gonna find a nice, big, solid tree, okay? Representing strength and stability. And then you're gonna put the six apples by the tree, thanking Chango for helping us. So that's how we're gonna close this one out. Um, we're gonna lift our spirits. This is the song I was talking about. So can't nobody hold us down. Can't nobody hold you down. Sometimes we get ourselves down. Um, but then we can do stuff like this to pick our spirits up and keep it moving. Any questions, email, call, comment. We're always happy to get back to you guys. Have a good one.